Oh, hey, what's happening there, YouTube? It's Brian House here for Housework, and today we are going to be going over the design for my new workbench. Uh, a lot of you who follow my channel know I have a workshop and a studio, and I have a big rolling eight, four foot by eight foot workbench that my dad and I built uh, a few years ago, and it has served me pretty well. I, I like using it. The downside to it is now that I built the new grind room, I feel like it just takes up way too much space. Even if I try to push it up against the wall, sticking out four feet, there's probably a two foot by eight foot section I never use. Uh, it has a router table sort of sunken into it and I never use that and so on and so on. It's just a big beefy device that is just taking up a lot of real estate here in my studio and workshop. So I just want to kind of downsize it and make something that will actually push up against the wall and act like a normal workbench and then I can roll it out into the middle of this room and film and talk to you guys about my projects, put a vice on it, but I really wanted something really sturdy and solid. So I went online of course on YouTube and there's a million videos out there of people building really nice decent work benches and uh, of course I want to do something with a thicker top and do like on end two by fours. So I started watching uh, Wrangler Star, Cody over at Wrangler Star. I love his channel, by the way. I, I really am inspired almost by every single video that guy puts out. Uh, so if you don't know who Wrangler Star is, I'll link to him down in the, in the description, but I'm sure you do. He's huge. But uh, he built a really cool two by four workbench. And, um, and he, while he's building it, he's talking about how long it will last and he'll pass it on to his children and how his children will probably pass it on to their children and so on. And I love the concept of building something that will last a lifetime. And now that uh, we are in a situation, uh, this is being filmed during the coronavirus uh, quarantine and lockdown. I have my son, my 14 year old son, almost every day coming with me to work here. And we are sort of quarantined here in the workshop. So I thought, what a better thing to build than a workbench that will most likely get passed down to him. Hopefully way down the road, right? You know, like 50 years from now or something. But. Uh, uh, I, I love that idea of building something that will last forever and that we can build it together and we'll engrave our names in the bottom of it and maybe make a mention of our lockdown situation and our quarantine. So anyway, as always, I have created my ideal workbench in SketchUp and I also have incorporated the use of some of these work bins, these HDX Home Depot work bins you can buy for like five bucks. Uh, I have a whole bunch of those filled with hardware, so I figured I would, you know, incorporate those into the bench. Let's take a closer look at the design, and uh, I want, as always, need, want and need your feedback, okay? Um, if you're new to my channel and you don't usually watch me, uh, I like to design things in SketchUp, present them to my audience, you guys, my viewers, and then get feedback on those projects. And I have got to tell you, every single time I have done this, I have gotten really amazing feedback from people that has changed the course of the projects. And it makes the projects better, it makes me able to build them easier, and so on and so on. So we're learning together, we're doing it together, and then ultimately we'll build it and you guys will be able to see, hopefully, some of your design changes. So if you see something in my design you would like to add or change, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I do read and respond to all of them. Anyhow, let's take a closer look at the design. Okay, so the base is all two by two tube steel and it'll be on locking casters and someone already, I posted a photo of this on Facebook and on Instagram. If you're not following me, I'll put a link down in the description so you can follow me there. Uh, about these cool uh, locking casters that have sort of a uh, like a base where you can step down on it and it locks in. I really like that concept. The, the, the two by two tube steel will support the entire base that'll all be welded together. Here's the top. I plan on doing two by four on end and then trimming them down on my table saw. So they're about three inches. They'll be about three, in, you know, I'll take a quarter inch off of each one front and uh, top and bottom and then so that you've got this and then so this is just over 28 inches wide and then uh, 10 feet long and the reason why I want 10 feet long is because I plan on leaving some tools or bolting some tools down to this thing uh, mainly my new angle grinder stand uh, a couple of vices and a bench grinder I foresee this 
sort of taking the place of the little two foot by four foot workshop table that I built many years ago. I'm gonna do exactly what Cody did in Wrangler Star. I'm gonna drill the holes. I don't have clamps that will hold the two by fours all together, so I'm gonna do exactly how he did it. He drilled holes all the way through and then used threaded rod to link them all together and squeeze the glue and you know put it all together, which I thought was really ingenious. These are the trays here, the HDX trays. They'll be able to slide out this way and they'll also be able to slide out on the side. My thought on that was if it's all the way up against the wall, it's pushed all the way up against the wall, I won't be able to pull them this way if I've got another tool right here. So I figured being able to pull it out straight this way, that means I'm gonna have sheet metal sort of separating these because these will act like drawers a little bit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna construct that yet. So the big what if now is what goes in the middle. Uh, originally I had thought just leave it open and then put a shelf here, maybe a few shelves. What I don't like about horizontal surfaces is they tend to just store junk and just pile up. So I'm really thinking drawers maybe, and they could be metal stanchions in here and then wood face drawers possibly. Um, I'm not really sure. I'd like to hear what you guys think about that. Or maybe like a tool stand, something I could put tools in and then lift them up and put them on the workbench. I don't know. I just always think like if I don't have quick and easy access to those tools, I'll probably never use them. I have a miter saw that just sits on a little bench underneath and I never pull it up because it's heavy and I hate pulling it up. So the quicker and easier access to all this stuff, the better. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's a really simple design so far, and I'd like to add more, uh, I'd like to add some electricity to it and some more functionality to it. So, and that's where you guys come in because you sort of know my workshop, you know what I'm up to in here. So, um, you know, grinders, angle grinders, vices on the, the surface here, hardware in these containers here. And then this is the big what if space. So I really need your feedback and uh, I do truly appreciate it. As always guys, if you got something out of today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell, you'll get a notification every time I upload something to YouTube. There are numerous ways to support my channel. And one of which the best way, in my opinion, is to follow the Amazon store links down in the description. If you click through to that and you buy something from my broken down Amazon store, all my tools are in there, broken down into different projects and so on. You buy something, I get a small commission from that. That's a free way to support my channel. Now, if you want to take your support to the next level, I do have a Patreon page now for as little as $1 a month. You can support everything I've got going on right here in my workshop. Also, there's a buy me a coffee link. You can go down there and buy me a coffee. And you can also buy some cool housework merch. There's a Teespring link just below this video where you can click through and get a hoodie or a t-shirt or something. And I get a commission if you buy through Teespring. So that's a great way to support my channel. As always, guys, I hope you're doing well out there. Uh, if you want to just chit chat and talk, I have a cell phone number that you can text me or call me on, and I am going to release that out to you guys in the hopes that we can stay connected uh, you know, a little bit better because times like this, I truly feel like we're better and stronger together. When we collaborate, when we talk, if you've got things going on that you really want to discuss, please call my number or text it or, or message me on that number. I'll get it and then we can, we can connect. I may not be able to answer it all the time, uh, but you can leave me a message. I will call you back, all right? I appreciate you guys. I love you. Be strong and we will get through this together. I know it and use this time that you have uh, to work in your workshop, connect with your children, learn something new. You know, do all those things that you were not able to do before when you didn't have all this time. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. My name is Brian House, and this has been Housework. Housework.